picked up a heat signature. Got ourselves a customer. Quadrega. Hmm? Drop it. Next time you're the bait. Bandit 3-4, area is secure. Repeat, area is secure. Roger that. On our way. Dad, is it happening? Is it happening? It's happened. Hey, you. Hey, little guy. Oh, wow. He's beautiful. Yeah, and he's already talking. <laughs> yeah? I think I heard him say Daddy better get his butt back here to help Mom change some diapers. <laughs> Soon, baby, just three more months. God, I love you so much. I love you too. Hi, Marshall. Hi, Marshall. We missed you. Did you have the baby? Yeah, look. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Congratulations, <laughs> man. Oh, wow. Ugly kid. Definitely yours. <laughs> <laughs> So you think you're gonna re-enlist? I don't know. Think Sophie will stick around if you do? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what the hell are you gonna do if you don't? I get it, you don't know. Sarge! Sarge! Now I know where I'd seen you before, sir. He won the 450 class at the Loretta Lynn in 15. Everyone thought Kurt Walker was gonna take it. Let's do that. Huh. That's a good picture. You've been holding out on us, Bennett. Could have gone pro, sir. What are you doing here with us? Yeah, you know, riding for trophies didn't really interest me. Trophies? What about the money? Yeah, and the girls? I got a girl. And the money? <sighs> Look, man, I always wanted to serve. When I found out I could ride for the Rangers. I knew that's what I wanted to do. Oh, no, I mean, I get it. I turned on a real high-paying job, too. Taco Bell, management track. <laughs> Wiped well, this place out months ago. Satellite so showing you intermittent activity again. Smell that? I do. Somebody's making lunch. Man at 3 2, on target, securing the ejector. Let's move out.
How are you feeling, Sergeant? Sergeant. Riley. Where's Riley? He's in surgery. He has been all night. They're doing everything they can for him. But to be frank, it doesn't look good. There's something else I need to talk to you about. We were able to save your leg but you have multiple fractures in your foot. There's no way to know if it will heal properly. Therefore, I'm recommending subtalar fusion of your heel bone. It's the only way to guarantee that you'll ever be able to walk again without pain. But? But it will limit movement in your ankle and you wouldn't be able to ride the same way. No, which, which is something I would discourage in any case. Maybe you should take some time to think about it. I don't need to. I'll take my chances. I don't think you understand the full extent of your injuries, Sergeant. Even if it heals, with the rod in your back and the screws in your leg, son, you're done riding for the Army. I'm recommending a medical discharge. I'm sorry. This thing. I had it. It's fine. Dude, if you get hurt in my shop, Sophie will beat me like a pinata. And I will cry, man. I'm a crier. It's embarrassing. You know who that is? Whoa, 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 whoa. You okay? Yeah, I just don't even feel it. Nothing at all? No. Doctor's not sure if I ever will. So I keep doing the PT. Who's this guy? That's Kurt Walker's little brother, Chris. He's racing now, too. Oh, yeah? Is he any good? Well, he's got a 
Small sponsorship from my cousin, actually. Hmm. He's gonna be racing his qualifiers this year. He's nowhere as fast as you are at his age. I'll tell you that much. I'm gonna get a jump on that 650. You good, bud? Yeah, man. All right, man. Thank See you tomorrow. for a hard day. Marshall, wait. Sophie, I got it. No, no, it's no, okay. no, 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 no. I got it. Stop. Go. To me. Thank you. Yeah. How's he doing? Oh, uh, he's doing great. Yeah. yeah, I've got him talking. What's this? What's this? Tractor. Tractor. <laughs> you hear it? You hear it? It is a tractor. Uh, that's right, nice buddy. Job, buddy. Where's Daddy been? Come here, Harley. Want to say hi to Daddy? Oh, you want to see Dad? Hey, come here. Yeah, you want to see You all right? Yeah. Huh? OK. Hey. Hey, yeah? Yeah, who's that? Uh, Daddy, bud. You want to see Harley? Harley? All right. I feel like that's... I got it. I got it. It's too heavy. He's been good. How you last time it's being processed. Cal, I swear when he finally does start to get his disability, we will be able to help out a lot more. Well, if this drought doesn't break, it's not going to matter anyway. Price of feed went up again. What are you going to do? Nothing to do. you got to have the organic feed to keep the organic status for the dairy, so I might have to lay more guys off and get up earlier. Heard you coming in late last night. Something going on? Had to replace pump on the bulk tank. Oh, yeah? Well, you need a hand? Babe. Sophie, come on. Sitting on a stool fixing motorcycles. I agreed to that. I don't want you on a catwalk. Yeah. Sorry, no, that's fine. I'm just going to be another set of eyes. It's OK. It's don't not bullshit deal. me. We both knew you'll be up there in two minutes. Sophie, I've got to stay active. I can't just be sitting around No day. unnecessary risks. End of discussion. I just feel like maybe we can talk about it sometimes. I'm get ready for class. Me too. Going outside for a bit, Marshall. Okay, Dad. Okay.
Checked out? Huh? Fine, Dad. It's just I changed it. Just... I couldn't get the light. Please. It's just gonna take some time, bud. It's just gonna take some time. Hey, 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 hey. It's all right, buddy. Just can't get the light. It's okay. It's just gonna take some time, son. Yo, Bennett, are you done with the KTM yet? Why didn't you call me? I got it. What's for lunch? You ever find it weird you were halfway across the world shooting at Arabs and now you work for one? You think you might have ran into some of my relatives while you were over there? You're an idiot. No, seriously, my cousin Mahmoud. I haven't heard from him for a while. You think you shot a guy by the name of Mahmoud by chance? You know, unibrow, big nose, kind of chubby belly. You only dabbled in terrorism, so you're probably not worth your while, but um, maybe you can make a call or something. Now, I know you think us cornbread white boys don't know anything about geography, but your family's from Iran, and that makes you Persian, not Arab. And this Iran's part of Asia, you're actually Asian. Now I know why I love the ponzu sauce. Listen, man, I just want to say thanks. For what? You mean work. Well, things are slow around here. You don't really need me. It ain't all charity, kid. You rebuild engines faster than anyone I know, and since I pay you by the hour, it kind of works out for yeah. you. Oh, God. <laughs> Your leg's feeling better, huh? Getting there. You ever thought about instructing? You could charge 100, 150 bucks an hour, a little more than I pay you. A little? Kids would love to learn from you. I saw so many guys doing it, I couldn't get anybody interested. Are you nuts? People see you out on the track again the way you used to ride? <laughs> That's easier said than done, man. We might be closing early tonight. Why? Because it's Chris and my cousin, Amir Pasha Abdullah Garahsanlu Rohia. But he goes by Tony Pantera. He's not here just to say hi to me. Is it bad blood? I used to run his race team when we were younger, but he was a bit of a hothead. He kept getting into fights, and let's just say it didn't end well. And now he runs his own race team, and when it comes to bikes, he likes to spend money. So, smile. So this is where dreams come to die, huh? Tony. Pleasant as ever. Cyrus. Still the, uh... Delicate flower, I see. He didn't stand a chance. He still had his Big Mac in his hands. <laughs> Bennett. Hey, Kurt. This guy used to give me a hell of a hard time on the track. I remember. Congrats on all your success, man. Thank you. Yeah, I heard you uh, joined up. I was surprised. But, uh, hey, you made it back in one piece. Well, that's good. It's good to see you. So, what can I help you guys with? Need an A kit for a KX. Front and rear? What do you think? Okay, got a KYB kit right here. Follow me. I'm all out. Third gear, break through the jump, and I can't tight that left. They're always catching you in this section. I think you're getting too much air coming up Mount Whitney. No, I'm not. No, it makes you feel like a superhero, but that's actually just losing your time. Yeah, yeah. With the install, it's gonna be an $8,000 sale. Nice. Keep the tires on the ground. That's how you go fast. Listen to your brother, dipshit. He's a pro. 
Yeah, and you're having a break too hard, and then also you're taking that turn too late when you're coming off the left handy. You just have to make sure that you take it nice and tight. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Hey, you know, if you go wide and turn in late to that left hand, you're getting 10 miles an hour coming out of this chicane. Yeah, but then you're leaving your inside open. Well, yeah, it's a risky move. A dumb move, if you ask me. So, if you guys drop your bike off tomorrow, I can have it for you by this weekend. Well, you know, if it's just one guy behind, just let him right by, right? And you cut in late, power out, you shoot right past him before the next turn. Look, Bennett, thanks, but uh, I'm trying not to get Chris's racing lines yeah, all mixed up. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. It's just, you know, I did a ride on that track. I'm just trying to help. Yeah, no offense, Bennett, but uh, like you said, it's been a while. I think what Marshall's trying to say is that he laid down the fastest lap times in every race, so he kind of knows what he's talking about. Yeah, but Kurt did it as a pro all season. Pro or not, a Cyrus, good line. It's, it's okay, man. It's, oh, come on, pro or not, a good line is a good line. You listen to Marshall, you might shave off some more time. <laughs> okay. I tell you what, uh, hang on to that A kit for a minute, and I'll get back with you. All right, come on, guys. Yeah. Ladies, we're out. You didn't have to do that, man. Screw them. Penny? Oh, who's that? Who's that? So I was watching this teacher the other day. She was completely oblivious to what this horse was doing. It was, it was exactly what you showed me. His ears were flickering back and forth. So these are things you're not going to learn in vet school. Yeah, well, the horse was obviously bothered by something. Mommy thinks that it's because his assistant doesn't shower. And then he's stinky. He's stinky. You need a shower. You need a shower. You're kind of stinky. You're kind of stinky. You want a shower? I know. It's time for a shower. Come on, let's go upstairs. Say goodnight. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. What's known at you, boy? Kurt Walker came in the shop today. Oh, yeah. What about you? I'm gonna have to sell this thing. What the hell are you gonna do without this? Gonna matter soon. I'm behind on the mortgage. Why don't you say anything, Dad? How much? Uh, it's a little over five grand. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, I mean, Sophie and I have a lease. It's too insane. Yeah, well, you just keep it. If it don't rain, it's just gonna keep adding up. this place to you guys. It's okay, Dad. Uh, it's not all right, Marshall. It's not all right with me. Ah! Oh, God. Oh, sorry. Ah. Grease on my head. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't look broke. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> So I think it's time we call it a night. And we'll talk about this some more tomorrow. Yeah. Right. I'll clean up. You sure? Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, check on Ray Ray for me, please. Will do. Okay. Hers. Yeah, hers. <laughs> nice, huh? Good night, Dad. Ah.
You suck. <laughs> that is not funny. <laughs> oh. Hi. Hi. It's been a minute since you've waited up for I know. Mm -hmm. Babe, no, 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 you're like, you're like. I can handle you, woman, it's fine. Uh, I packed on a couple pounds since Ray Ray. Hey, you're right, you have. <laughs> that is rude. I'm gonna have to work it off somehow. Oh, uh, yeah? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what has gotten into you? I'll tell you tomorrow. Instruct? So you want to get on a bike? I'll just be riding around with little kids, baby. Okay, this is a risk that we don't need to take. We need the money. We're fine, Marshall. I really do not have time for this. Sophie, Dad's behind on the mortgage. What are you talking about? This is just a part-time job. It's a few sessions a week. We get us a lot of extra cash. No, absolutely not. I will go back to work at the clinic. And stop school? Who would take care of Ray We will get a nanny. It's fine. So then you'd be working to pay someone else to raise our son. You'd end up stuck at the clinic. I'd end up stuck fixing bikes, and that'll be it. I want more for us, baby. I want you to have your own clinic one day. Do you not remember when the doctor said, one bad fall, Marshall? One bad fall, and you could never walk again. Sophie, a car accident could do that, but I drive every day, don't I? I swear to you, if I see you on that bike, I will take our son, and I will move back to Illinois with my mom. Sophie, I come on, Don't babe. be late for physical therapy. Cyrus, I need you to come by tonight after Sophie leaves for school. For what? I need you to pick up my bike. I'm heading to the track Saturday to find some customers. That's a horrible idea. What time do you want me to be there? I can't believe no one's at the practice track. But the REM track sure is busy. Let's check it out.
kind of busy for a local race, right? I haven't seen like this in a while. Hey, Forrest! Forrest! Hey! Hey, man, how you doing? Good, good, good. It's a great turnout today. What's going on? Kurt Walker tweeted everybody that he's going to be here today. Is he racing? No, but his little brother Chris is. And everybody wants in to see if they can outrun the new rising star. Purse is up to four grand today. Do you think anyone's fast enough? Nah, nobody's going to outrun the Walker brothers. I don't even like those entitled pricks. <laughs> but they bring in a hell of a crowd. Look okay. ahead. I got to go. See you later. Take care, Forrest. All racers, make sure to come sign in before 9 a.m. We picked hell of a day to come to the track, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So what do you want to do? I think I'll race. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Uh, let's see if you can make it lap first. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, roosting around is one thing. Going wheel to wheel is not smart for someone in your condition. Need that money, Cyrus. Dude, I promised Sophie. Yeah, I know, I know. Let me deal with it. Oh, yeah. That. You're going to be real convincing from a hospital bed. This is with or without you, man. This is a terrible idea. You're all set. Good luck. Thank you. Next. Marshall Bennett? Hey, Charlotte. Welcome back. Thank you. Stay out of the pack. Whatever you do, take it easy coming down Mount Whitney. I got it. Man, the bike isn't even dialed in. It'll be fine. This is the last track I rode four years ago. Riders to the starting gate. We're about to start. Aren't you Muslim? Only in front of my grandmother. Well, the local up-and-comers out to prove a point. Everyone has their favourites. Let's see who wins. Today's wild card is a ghost from the past. Local's here. REM champ and winner of the Loretta Lynn 450 class in 2015. Haven't seen him here since then. Ladies and gentlemen, wearing number 32, it's Marshall Bennett. Huh? Did I hear that right? <laughs> Dumber than I thought.
bad for him, man. It's a straight up shame, bro. At the back of the pack is Marshall Bennett, struggling to keep up, while Chris Walker leads the pack into lap two. Attaboy! Local boys are giving it all they've got, but Walker is just pulling away. He's on a whole other level. <laughs> Here he comes again. It doesn't even look like he's breaking a sweat. Chris Walker's proving to have some serious stamina here. We're halfway through the race, and the rest of the pack is running out of speed. <clears throat> Good. Number 32 is moving up, no longer bringing up the rear.
You okay? That was great. You done parade lapping, kid? Yeah. Marshall Bennett, number 32. Thanks, That's 32% of everything at Moto Mystery. I'm gonna hit the bathroom. All right, buddy. Machine. Can you do a little better on the price? Maybe. Excuse me, Earl. I'm gonna wait right here. Yeah. What's up? to sell it, Dad. What? What? You got the money. What did you do, rob a bank? Uh, worse. Mm. I won. I'm gonna race again. Sophie, can you please just stop? Baby, please. I can't just let him sell the house. What did you want me to do? You are out of your damn mind, Marshall. When you wanted to serve, I stood by you. When they sent you overseas, I stood Sophie, by you. I when you got that. injured, I stood by you. I bathed you. I emptied your bedpan. I can't keep walking around defeated, baby. I got to be able to say that I tried. And what happens when you go down mid-pack? Because that's what's going to happen. You end up in a wheelchair or worse. I know. I know. I'd rather risk it than die a little bit every day. I almost lost you once. You can't do that to me again. Baby. Sophie. No! <laughs> Marshall. It's me, darling. Can we talk? Yeah, come on in. You okay? I hear you. Come sit. Sophie, I was married to an Army helicopter pilot for 22 years. So, where you are right now, I've been there. Almost didn't marry her because I was so afraid that someday I was going to get a knock on that door. How did you deal with that every day? Well, it's simple. I just couldn't imagine my life without her. Patty was in the Army all her life. So many deployments, they eventually just became routine. Till one day, she went down in a training exercise of all things. I, uh, I know I seemed like a tough old guy to you. But that day, God, that day my heart broke. 
She was the love of my life, and she gave me Marshall. And everything that I am, everything good about me, really came from the time I had with her. So, if my boy is the one for you, don't let what ifs control the decisions that you make. Surprised she let you come back. Let's talk. Okay, I need you to be straight with me. Is going pro a real possibility? Yeah. Lots of riders recover from injury. As bad as Marshall's? Doug Henry, Trey Kennard, yeah. Some with more success than others. But what are his chances, really? I don't know. You want me to look at my crystal ball? See, and... No, that's not good enough. Marshall is not just your motocross buddy. He is the father of my child. We cannot bop around these little amateur tracks for a couple hundred dollars a race. Do you want me on board? Okay, then look at me in my eyes. Don't give me your Cyrus bullshit and tell me what your gut says, please. You wanna know the real reason I hired him? Sure. Imagine you own a piano store and Mozart walked in the door asking for an application. That's how I felt when he came in looking for a job. My gut tells me that Marshall is one of the most naturally gifted riders I've ever seen, and I've been watching him since he's a kid. It's effortless for him. But can he still play? Yeah, from what I saw yesterday, I'll put money on it. I will sponsor him with everything I got. Do you even know anything about tuning a bike? I was the baddest crew chief on this side Perfect. of Perfect. You are crew chief, I am team manager. This is the deal I made with Marshall if you want me on board, so take it or leave it. We good here? I don't know about all this women power stuff. You know, maybe it's my heritage, but in my country, women are seen, not heard. They're not even seen. Okay, so you need 60 AMA points to get your racing license back and go pro. The fastest way for you to do that is to finish in the top three in four qualifier races. Now, you've got the skill, but you don't have the stamina. If Walker would've gone flat out the entire time, he would've had you. It's gonna take time to rebuild your strength. And the stronger you are, the safer you'll be. All right, go for it. Yeah? Yeah, all right, your turn, Dad. <laughs> no. We need you on an intensive regimen of low-impact cardio for a few weeks before you race again. And to keep our travel expenses low, we'll stick to nearby races. We'll get you the best gear possible, then we'll start doing some regular training on the track. Okay, so this brace is going to give you the most support and even more flexibility. How's it feel? That's good. Yeah? You're still a little stiff. You've got to get smoother. Practice those jumps. Don't get too fancy. Don't lay the bike too low. That's too risky a move. Focus on your landing. All purse money goes to you guys to help keep a roof over your head. Come on, Harley. You suck. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I scare you? I am going to have to set you straight. Oh, yeah? You and what army?
got it? Yeah, I got it. Okay, baby. Thank you, baby. Team Pantera looking good. Hey, what's up, Dixon? Hey, Who's that? That's Kurt's boys, the Team Iron Grip Mechanics. Think they have a masseuse in there? If they do, you're on your own, kid. <laughs> what is he doing? down to the last few minutes of the race. I don't see anyone catching Chris Walker today. He's been dominating this track. And Walker takes it! Yeah. Followed by Ashton, Lee, and Bennett. <gasps> yeah! Okay! Yeah. Okay, that was cool! <laughs> yeah! That was it! Good job. I hesitated too much. It got in my head. Baby, you beat 20 other riders. Fourth place, that's 18 points. Not a bad start. Right through. Yeah. You're on fire! Yeah! <laughs> Proud of you, man. And it's gonna be Walker, McLean, and Bennett in the top three spots. Third place, that's 1,500 bucks. That's great. Yeah, you are amazing, babe. We need to lower the back and stiffen the front so it can turn easier. Cool, no problem. I can go faster. Wow, folks, this has been a contentious race with number one Chris Walker managing to stay in front of this tight pass. No. Only two more laps and Walker is finally breaking away. Come on, Chris! Issues? No, he's gay. No, man, you just gotta work on some of your lines. You better think about your lines. Oh, yeah, what's that? One more race, he turns pro. Then you gotta deal with him. Great job, man. <laughs> All right, team. Victorville is next. And as long as you finish in the top 10, you'll have the points you'll need. And we already have the sponsor's attention. Your hand, please, sir. Thank you. Come on. All of us, please. We haven't done this in a while. We never should have stopped. Dear Lord, we are always grateful for our time together. Thank you for this roof still over our heads, this food in front of us, and most of all, good company. Even Cyrus. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You want your veggies? The terrain's a little harder than I thought, I think. We can go down a few clicks. Okay. Hey, can you grab the shock tool? Daddy, there's 32. Good night, sweetheart.
Aye, right, sir, I'm looking for Marshall. Hey, Sarge. Turn those emails. It's okay, you're okay. That was in a bad way for a while, you know. Oh, well. uh, Becca has something she wants to tell you. Oh, yeah. Hey, sweetie. Thank you for bringing my daddy home. Oh, you're welcome, sweetheart. You got a good daddy. Too risky. It's too risky. Stop. Racing is part of you. And I realized that when I said I do, it was to all of you. Thank you. For what? For letting me get to say I try. Scooch. So, I think I should probably take next semester off. And no, back baby, hey, no. no. Just, just for a little bit, so we don't fall so mm. far behind. You know. When I'm better, I'm gonna fix a thousand bikes. And I'm gonna teach a million kids to ride, and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get you your clinic, baby. I promise you. I love you. I love you so much. Osiris! 
Cyrus! Yo! Bike's good to go. Can I get a hand? Be right there. Looking yeah. good. Looking good. Lunch is here. Sophie. Cyrus. So what do you do at the clinic? You ask the animals to turn and cough? No. I give injections, check their teeth, test for diseases, stuff like that. What about neutering? Mm-hmm. We do that. I bet you're pretty good at it. Don't you forget it. What's up, slugger? What do you want, Tony? I'm here to see Bennett. I've got a question for him. Is that all you got? Excuse me? Get out of here, Tony. I'm curious. Yeah, bye-bye, jerk-off. We'll get your panties in a twist. Excuse me? Turn around and walk out of the store. I just want to know if he's done. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's okay, it's fine. What's your problem? Simple. Do you think you can beat the Walker brothers? If I wasn't hurt? Yeah, sure. I'd wipe my ass with both of them. <laughs> OK, then. Let me show you something. You see this? Hangtown 97. Some jerk mess with my bike. It cost me my shot. I remember that. And you see this? This is from rearranging his face. Yeah, I remember that, too. There's one thing I don't do, and that's mess with a man's bike. You have one of your boys did. You sure might have. But he ain't my boy no more. Chris left the team. We had an agreement when I sponsored him that when he turns pro, he takes Pantera Racing factory level with him. Instead, he jumps ship and goes with iron grip with his dumb brother. Nothing more do I want to kick both of their asses. But you know what's better? You. I want you to smoke their asses on the track. Are you serious? Serious as a heart attack. I can't ride for a while. How long? Four to six weeks. Stable or oblique fracture? It's a stable. You're good. It's healed already. I'm sorry. Are you a doctor? Do you know how many broken bones I've had? I get my physical therapist to do his voodoo magic on you. You'll be good to go in no time. Make it to the last qualifiers. Loretta Lens? No, I can't do that. I can't afford it. It's in Tennessee. I'll cover the expenses. Gas, hotel. We'll get you out there. But a couple months later, Lucas Oil Outdoor Pro Motocross. You're going to have to win. Get our sponsors. Keep this thing going. Marshall Bennett wins the Loretta Lens Sports. But what's in it for you? Pantera Racing gets to go pro. Finally. You in? The Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Championship season starts at historic Glen Helen Raceway in glorious Southern California. Yeah, it's one of the most popular tracks due to its endless jumps and elevation changes. You can find a lot of riders training here all year, like number eight, Chris Walker. Today marks his first pro race with iron grip tools. He is, of course, the younger brother of last year's champion, number 88, Kurt Walker. Yeah, you know, Chris placed in the top three in all of his qualifiers. Talent definitely runs in this family, and I wouldn't be surprised to see both of them on the podium. No awesome. Here you go. All right. What are your ladies' names? Victoria and Rebecca. Victoria and Rebecca. Pretty names, huh? Yeah, very pretty. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Hey, 
Tony, Tony, wait, hey, have you thought any more about our discussion? Look, Sophie, no offense, but you don't have a ton of experience. What do you mean? I was running things just fine until you showed up. For half a season. I've been doing this for 20 years. OK, but I can take some of your workload. I manage at the clinic. I know how to delegate. Well, you team. can't be the manager. I'm the team manager. I pay for all this shit. You got any other ideas? Public relations. I'm going to help get us sponsors. And what the hell qualifications do you have to do that? Um, the sponsors are men, and I have boobs. Deal. Hey, hey, quick, 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 look, 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 quick. That's all the damage they're going to be doing today. Qualified ninth. He's out of his league. Oh, hey, look who it is. What's up, buddy? Hey. Good to see you. Uh, hey, man. Thanks for coming out. I would have missed it. Yeah. And I brought you to your intersection. Yeah? You're from my support group. Gear heads through and through. Hey, That's... I'm Justin. It's an honor to meet you, Sarge. Nice to meet you, man. I'm Dustin. Hey. Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm Brad. Hey. Attention, attention. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet right you. Right to this is dark. Hey. Right, you all stretched out? Yeah. Right. Hey, Junior, I got sponsors for today, but sponsorship bonuses, that's the only way we can keep this thing going. Show us what you got. This is one of our biggest turnouts for a season opener. Over 20,000 spectators here today to see which one of these riders will take home the $25,000 purse. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Listen, Bennett, we came here to win this thing. Me and my brother won, too. So you just stay out of our way. Yeah, watch it during qualifying, Chris. So you know we got you beat by over four seconds. What I know is you're a carbon copy of your brother. And that's why I'm going to yard your ass, too. Move. <laughs> Marshall Bennett, number 32. He's the guy to watch. Thought he was injured. Sir, tracers and IEDs in Afghanistan couldn't keep this man from riding. Just think about giving him your support when he takes the podium, all right? All right. Thanks. Oh, sir, excuse me. Bennett is a new addition to Team Pantera, not sure what his chances are. He took a four-year hiatus from motocross to go serve, and he came back injured. Right, buddy. It's all so you. I'm surprised he's even here. Well, and apparently there's lots of bad blood between Team Pantera and that former rider of theirs, Chris Walker. You just get to the front. I'll bury anyone who comes up. All right, with two minutes to go, well, there's our top qualifier, Justin Musket, number 14. He's looking very confident. Okay. How'd it go? Uh, great. I talked to you. Eight different sponsors, E3 spark plug seems the most promising. E3, they're good. Yeah, I know. Good job. All right, here we go, guys. <laughs> With 30 seconds to go, this pro motocross championship at Glen Helen is about to kick off.
to hurt a lot. You know, that first turn always shows you who wants the bigger house. Chris Walker's already making his way to the front of the pack. As they round the Yamaha Bridge, 48 and 14 are leading the race. Moving up mid-pack is number 32, Marshall Bennett. Yeah. And number 14 takes the lead as they descend Mount St. Helens. Well, Bennett and Foster get into a little tangle as they round the backside bridge. Walker's putting down a strong first lap as he comes out of the canyon. His brother Kurt is not far behind, getting some massive air. Number 32, Marshall Bennett, is also holding his own as he gets some hang time in the canyon. Number 88, Kurt Walker passes 79, heading into the back straight. Competition is intense. That's a tight first lap, folks. We got a lot of good riders here today. This could be anybody's race. Justin Muskie continues to lead this race. 88, Kurt Walker is on fire, moving into third place as he laps number 58. I'm telling you, there's going to be at least one Walker on the podium today. Oh, 48 takes a nasty spill as Bennett closes in on the leader. Lap 9 is race leader number 14 with the Team Iron Grip Walker Brothers gaining ground. And right behind them is Marshall Bennett. Yeah, go, baby! Oh, just look at Marshall Bennett. He's found his group. He's tearing it up. Bennett is now right on the heels of the pack leaders as he comes around turn one. Bennett is clearly looking to pass as they approach the backside bridge. Oh, Bennett goes wide, passes Kurt Walker. What a move by Bennett. I did not see that coming. He is now in third place. but he's losing positions every second that goes by. Too bad for Bennett. Bennett's back on his bike, but he's got a lot of distance to make up. 
Only three laps left and 14 still leading this race with Iron Grips, Kurt and Chris Walker closing in. Back in eighth place, Bennett's inching his way forward. He hasn't given up yet. Look at this. Chris lets his brother by. Kurt is charging race leader Justin Muskett. and Kurt Walker is just bearing down on 14. Kurt's reeled him in. He dives in for the pass. Oh, contact! Muskets off the track! Yes. Kurt Walker now has the lead with his younger brother just behind. Looks like Team Iron Grip has this. John, check out this battle going on at the backside bridge. Marshall Bennett moves up two more spots. He's back in third place. The white flag is out. It's the final lap. That's how you do it. Oh, look at this, Gordon. Bennett is hot on their heels. around the Yamaha Bridge and 32 is closing in. He is a man on a mission. I'm back. 32 has made his way back. I can't believe it. I don't think he's going to settle for third. Go, go, go. Come on. Get it. Serious? Pantera's gone pro. Thanks, buddy. Hey, Marshall, you mind we do a quick interview? Yeah. So, Marshall, halfway through the race, you went off the track. Did you think you were going to be able to come back? I had no idea, but I had to try. <laughs> 